So I get asked a lot about flash questions and one of the most confusing things in the entire world is shutter speed when you're getting into it because you're talking, there's a difference between the exposure triangle, not even talking flash, with your ISO, your aperture, and your shutter speed. But then when you build in flash, it's a different kind of triangle. It's a different kind of element that you have to worry about. So for this video, I'm mainly going to concentrate and demonstrate how shutter speed uh, affects when you're using flash and I'm just really going to cover that. If you guys want to see some more specific things, uh, write those down in the comments below after you're done watching the video. But here is shutter speed, what it does, and uh, just quick examples of how it looks like so that way you can understand it the same way I kind of really understood how it worked. So let's dive into this. I'm kind of doing a like a product, a product type of shoot, but it's really just about shutter speed. So let's dive into it right now. Shutter speed, flash photography, what to do. As I was mentioning, flash photography is very, very intimidating. Uh, you, there's all these flashes, these triggers, all these things, all these settings that you have to know and get used to. But the biggest tool you have, in my opinion, is your shutter speed. So what essentially is shutter speed? The shutter speed is basically the, the length of duration you're allowing something to hit the sensor. Either it being quick to stop motion or uh, or slower to you know show movement. Its main importance is its ambient light. So what is ambient light? Well, see how it's brighter back there than everything right here? That is the ambient light. It's your background light, how your exposure looks behind your subject. Now, the reason I show, I'm show i showing to you this in this example, and I have my uh, front facing windows here, obviously showing the light back, as you can see, I'm lit. The background's, you know, mildly lit. But the front of everything is, you know, if you're looking this way, it's darker. It's obviously there's no not much light coming this way. As you see, there's no windows behind there. So if you're doing a shot, if you're outside, you know, even if you're in the bright sun, this really demonstrates the same thing. It's just easier to show it to you right here in kind of this situation. But essentially, you're going to have to light the front of your of your subject to balance out the room. So with shutter speed, its main thing in regards to the, the photography part. So we're leaving out ISO right now. We're leaving about aperture and we're leaving out the flash power and everything just for right this moment. But your shutter speed controls your ambient light, everything around the subject. So just always keep that in mind. It's around the subject. It's not your subject. So what I'm going to do right now is kind of do a product type of shoot and roll through the shutter and show you how it works. My ISO, my aperture, and my flash power, all the three different things of this flash, basically exposure, um, are not going to change. The only thing you're going to see change is the shutter speed and how it affects the background when you're using flash photography. Now, once again, I know this can be confusing, but once you see it, you'll you'll understand it. So I'm gonna tell you the settings I'm shooting at and, uh, and really kind of go from there. This is a really small, condensed, uh, you know, setup, I just really wanted to make it easy. So right now, you know, the gear technically doesn't matter per se, but you should have some kind of triggers. I use the Yangnuo uh, RF603 version twos, uh, and I have right here, kind of under my pillow, I'm kind of flagging a little bit of the light coming off. My uh, SB600 also on a Yangnuo flash. I'm using my D700 with my uh, 60 millimeter macro lens. And what are my settings? So essentially I'm gonna start at shutter speed, um, one two hundredth of a second. I'm shooting at f five point six, and my ISO it's it's relatively low and it's at four hundred. So that's not going to change the app. The aperture is not going to change. The ISO is not going to change. You're just going to see what the shutter speed does in regards to um, the background. So you'll so you'll note that. Let me just format my cards so that way we can get everything good. We're here. Okay, perfect. So right now, um, just so you know, my flash is also set on. Uh, it's one 128 power just because it's really close. I'm not dumping in a ton of power. Once again, the power doesn't matter right now. And uh, I'm just going to show you how the shutter speed works. Once again, it's the ambient light, the thing behind this, because as we see it right now, it's really, really dark. So without the flash, let me turn this flash off right here. Let's just show you what I have with these settings right now. So boom. So you're going to basically notice a dark scene. Uh, just because that's how you know set I set it up before this, but it's not going to look great because it's just you know the front. It's I'm just not balanced for that right now. But you you'll see how this works, and this really kind of goes with that dark background anywhere type of look. So I'm going to turn on my flash trigger. Hopefully this woke this up. I'm going to give it a test. Cool, it works. Awesome. So let's go once again. Uh, shutter speed is uh, one two hundredth of a second. F five point six. 
ISO 400. So let's just kind of roll through this and we'll see the different backgrounds. So we have right here, your first one. Your background's a little dark on that, to be honest. Once again, I'm not taking the best shots in the world, I'm just showing you what it does. So let's roll that down to 1 125th. You'll notice it getting a little bit lighter. So here we go. So as you notice, it's not as dark. It's still dark, but it's not as dark. But let's go drastic. Let's drop this down to a 40th of a second and watch how much brighter this gets. Ready? So focus on the front of the lens. Boom. That background is much brighter. You'll see more of the flash kind of hitting my wall back there. So as you're going through this, the lower your shutter speed, the more, it's essentially the same thing without even using the flash. The lower the shutter speed, the more light, the more time you're allowing for light to come in. And that's essentially what you're doing with the background. It's just that the flash is controlling everything up front. Once again, ambient light, background light. So the lower the number, the more light you're gonna let on the background. The higher the number, the less light you're going to let in. Once again, like my black background everywhere, I had that maxed out at 200th of a second. And you know, that's a really extreme situation, but that's essentially the same thing. I was really darkening the background. This is really important if you're going into weddings or if you're doing these product shots and you're trying to eliminate distracting backgrounds, you can use higher shutter speeds with your flash to eliminate that. Or if you really like a setting, if the lights look nice, if you need a little bit more kick on the background, you can do that by just use, using your shutter. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but it, it was confusing for me at first. I'm just trying to explain it. So once again, now I'm going to go the opposite way. So right now we're at, I'll even go down to a 30th of a second. I'm hand holding this. So 30th of a second, once again, did not change aperture or ISO. We're still at 400 ISO, 5. F5.6, but now we're at a 30th of a second. I'm going to do two extremes. We're gonna go 30th of a second and then up to 200 and you'll see the major difference in the background. So once again, focusing on front of the lens. I'll try to even show a little bit more of the background for you. So there we go. Um, I know the flash is a little harsh too, but as I said, it's just kind of makeshift setup. So there's a 30th of a second and let's roll that all the way to 200 and watch the major difference. So let's get the focus again. See, it's hard because there's not a lot of light up front. And bam, you'll look at the background. You'll easily, easily see the difference. So, I mean, in all reality, that's that's essentially it. That is flash photography, uh, you know, for you. It kind of rolled up into one. Your shutter speed controls ambient light. Um, just think of the flash triangle like this. I'm going to cover these more in depth in future videos. But shutter speed controls your ambient light, everything around the subject when you're using a flash. It's... Eh, once you get used to it, it's really simple to understand and know. But if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave that down below. The lower the number, the more light you're letting in on the background when you're using a flash. The higher the number, the less light, the darker the background will be. Once again, any questions, please, uh, please uh, leave them down below. That's shutter speed in regards to flash photography. One of the most crucial things you're going to have to know when you get into this game. That's all I got. Eric Ross of the guy with the eye. Flash away, shutter away.